your eyes. Hold on, let me try to fix your eyes. Here, hold still. Jeez. Look at the road that you look down on your head. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. Yeah, that looks way better there. Hold on, let me see myself. Holy cow. That looks great. You know what? I've had enough of this. You take this. This is for you. Oh, bye, bye, bye. Yeah, no, baby. Well, well, well. It looks like tonight it's going to be the beautiful people going against the wannabe beauty, Taylor Wilde, and the beast, Roxy. What an unlikely pairing. A hideous duo, to say, at the very least. Ladies, why can't you understand that you're just... Not in our league. I mean, not even a little bit. You see, we are the beautiful people. And we are better than you. But don't take it personal. Because we are better than everyone. <laughs> we are the ladies that all the girls want to be like. And that all the boys want to be with. Velvet, don't be so humble. There are plenty of girls around here that would want to be with us too. Yeah. Holler. Yeah. But you know what? We don't swing that way because what we are and who we are is what you will never have and will never be. Taylor Wilde, it's you and I for the TNA Knockouts Championship at No Surrender. And you know what? That gold belt will look perfect around my itty bitty tight little waist. And it will put the period at the end of the sentence for the beautiful people. Tonight, I am going to hurt you. And at no surrender, I'm gonna pin your cottage cheese ass. is scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one, Velvet Sky, Angelina Love. They are the beautiful people. Before we concentrate on Velvet and Angelina, Don, I need to get your comments on what we just heard, what we just witnessed from SoCal Val. She's come up with a plan. The only way to settle this situation between Sanjay Dutt and Jay Lethal, in her mind, is to take that engagement ring and to hang it above the six-sided ring, and whoever gets the ring gets Val. You know, if I'm Jay Lethal, I look at that and say, well, that shows that she has equal feelings for both. But in her mind, it's the only way to settle it. The crazy thing is that it's actually come to that. Then she's going to have them duke it out in the ring, whoever gets it, and that's who she's going with. Then you got to wonder how that relationship's going to work out. You know, ever since the arrival of Cute Kip as the fashion consultant for the beautiful people, Angelina and Velvet, if this is possible, they've been more impossible to deal with than ever. And more annoying? It's kind of like what you were wanting to say. Oh, are you kidding? Well, what's not annoying is their ring injury. on Impact, and earlier tonight, we heard from Jim Cornette and TNA management that we have a new woman in charge of the knockouts. We've got to talk about that. Tracy Brooks is going to be the knockout law. And her tag team partner from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, she is the TNA Women's Knockout Champion. Going to be another homecoming for the knockout camp at No Surrender, September 14, TNA International Pay Per View debut, and it will be the knockout championship at stake. The rating, the defending champ, makes her way now into the six sided ring. It's Taylor Wilde. She's going to go one on one at No Surrender with Angelina Love of the Beautiful People. Also, have to remind you, it's finally going to happen. It's finally going to take place tonight. 
Sting will explain his actions over the course of the past several months. Boy, we have been waiting for this. It's finally going to come to fruition. We finally hear Sting tonight. Well, you see Kip there giving uh, instructions to Angelina Love, but how about the message Roxy just sent? I mean, Angelina Love came over there and tried to primp on her a little bit, and I mean, Roxy just shoved her all the way back to the ropes and look at her. She wants to brawl, and I mean, she is. She's using that, that strength advantage that she has over Angelina Love, and look at her just wrestling her, putting her right on her shoulders. I love it. Just totally neutralizing her with the front face lock. Almost got the pin out of it. Now going to ring out the arm of Angelina. And you can just tell by the look on the face of Roxy how confident she is. Knockout champ Taylor Wilde in with the blind tag. And look at Angelina run from the champ. You know, a lot of people might criticize a move like that. Sometimes that's the best thing to do. Get out of there, regroup, get your game plan focused, and go back in. It's not necessarily a sign of fear. It's just a sign of just regrouping and getting yourself back in the match. Referee Rudy Charles trying to maintain some order here, trying to separate Kip James and Angelina and get Angelina back in the ring, back in the battle in this tag matchup. You talked about it, Sting coming back and 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 speaking tonight and, and addressing the situation. So many questions. How about Joe's response when you brought it up to the world champion? I mean, he just got quiet. You could almost see him quivering, and he's like, no, that's a matter for another time. But obviously, he's interested in what he's got to say, too. Taylor Wilde brings Velvet Sky back up to her feet. Velvet quickly cuts her off. Going to shoot her off into the ropes, and there you see the Fez press and Taylor Wilde laying in those rights. I mean, one thing we know about Taylor Wilde, she's a fighter. I mean, but she's also a great technical wrestler. I mean, she really does have game, and she's been showing it week in, week out, as she still holds on to that, that belt. But she can beat you in a lot of ways. She'll fight with you, she'll brawl with you, or she'll do something right out of the textbook. The TNA knockout champ remains in control. Going to go for the corner mount here on Velvet. Catch her with a couple of forearm shots. Velvet, boy, trying to, to cover up here. Look out, Angelina just took Kip James' makeup kit, his makeup case, and cracked Taylor Wilde right across the head with it. Well, the referee wasn't didn't see it. He was distracted, and she was able to just smash her right on the head, and now Velvet Sky taking advantage of it and putting the boots right to the gut. Right back to the offensive here goes Velvet Sky. Oh, Taylor Wilde in a bad way, bad position. Velvet's got all of her weight right across the back of the head of Taylor Wilde. Meanwhile, that, that, that ring rope, that steel cable, pressed right against her throat, quick snap mare, and then lines her up and drills her right between the shoulder blades with the kick. You're spinning the whole time trying to concentrate on getting air, trying to concentrate on breathing, and it allows your opponent to do what they want, and that's exactly what Velvet Sky is doing. And look at her, she brings her right over, and now her and Angelina Love can do the double team on her, and man, Taylor Wilde has got to find a way to get Roxy back in here and turn this thing back into a fight. Pretty basic tag team strategy for the beautiful people, but you have to admit that it's paying off here against Roxy and especially Taylor Wilde. Boy, in tight, a drop kick delivered with authority right into the face of the knockout champ. And Angelina looks so proud here as she has the champ on the defensive. Well, Angelina Love's a very good wrestler. We've seen her do some things that that'll surprise you. And she also has that, that incredible move that lights out, that if she hits it, it's pretty much lights out. And she's so psyched up, and you gotta wonder if she's gonna show the entire repertoire, but she's so psyched for no surrender when she gets that title shot against Taylor Wilde. Don't go anywhere. When we return to Impact, more of the TNA Knockouts. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back on Thursday Night Impact. More of the TNA Knockout Tag Team match as we see Roxy come head to head and collide with both of the beautiful people and Roxy's really in charge. Well, she's just been getting more frustrated and frustrated and waiting as we were afraid that Kana Wong wasn't gonna be able to, to get out of that hole by Velvet Sky and get a tag, but she did. And Roxy is cleaning house. One, two, oh look at this, she moves out of the way and Velvet Sky misses and Roxy goes right after her. Just nice kick to the throat. Boy, how about Roxy staying one step ahead of both Velvet and Angelina. Here's the roll up on Angelina who kicks out just before three. I mean, Roxy so impressive. Just doing what she wants. Look at that spine buster. One, two, oh, Velvet Sky just in time and Taylor Wilde 
She decided she got her hair back and she wants a piece of somebody. Totally broken down, all four knockouts of the six-sided ring. Taylor Wilde, the knockout champ, squares off with Velvet Sky. There goes Taylor for the ride, but look how quickly she goes right up to the top, then goes for the splash off the top, and there was nobody home. Well, that's a situation where she was so determined on what she was gonna do, she didn't look down to realize that Velvet Sky had followed her over to the corner. And that was a big crash and burn and cost her. Now, Roxy gonna go for the voodoo drop here on Angelina. Wait a minute, what did Kip James just hang in? Oh, hand in? Some kind of a spray bottle and sprayed her right in the face and you can see that she's gasping, trying to catch her breath, but now Angelina Love oh. set up and does that running bicycle kick right on her face. And Roxy One, totally two. defenseless here and she gets beat. Here are your winners, the beautiful people. Huge assist for the fashion consultant, Kip James. The spray bottle comes into play. Roxy blinded, her breath taken away, and Angelina and Velvet right there to get the win. Well, you knew that Kip James was gonna find some way to make himself important in this matchup, and he did, and sure enough, underhanded as it is, and you gotta expect that from the beautiful people. They were able to get the pin, and again, it was one of those situations where Taylor Wilde, Misses when she does the high risk maneuver. That cost her, and now look uh -oh. at this. Kip's got the bag, the brown paper bag. You know it's getting put on Roxy's head. Here comes the treatment. The brown paper bag applied to Roxy by Kip and the beautiful people they just love embarrassing the other knockouts. And Taylor, whoa! Taylor just hold off and caught Kip James, and she did it a second time. What a shot, and now the beautiful people tackle her, and now they're beating up, as you can see Kip James egging them on, telling them to keep the beating on, but Taylor Wilde, we've seen her, she shows no fear, and she went right after Kip with two nice wicked slaps. And that lit a fire under the fashion consultant, Kip James, no question. And What's now, he doing? while the beautiful people continue their beatdown on Taylor Scissors. Wilde, is that what he took he's out of the got, makeup oh, They're gonna cut the champion's hair! He's got scissors, he's gonna cut Taylor Wilde's hair! Oh, we've seen the problems in recent weeks between the beautiful people and Taylor Wilde. How about the war machine? Rhino! Rhino comes out and sends him running! The war machine Rhino makes a surprise appearance and the response from the beautiful people. And Kip James is to throw it in reverse and get out of 